Hey guys, I am in Bradford, Ontario, Canada. And it's real, I just got this out of the clean drawer and I spilt on it. There's like a hole in one of the containers. That's how hot one of the, the meals was. I'm at this place called Bangkok Saigon Noodle in Bradford, Ontario, Canada. And uh, yeah, it's the f I've done a couple little vlogs, but they weren't big enough to actually launch. And, and I've just been really busy uh, editing for uh, other clients and uh, busy with home life uh, with my kids, my wife, family, friends. And uh, so sorry I haven't been um, vlogging a whole lot on here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like, I, I'm definitely gonna keep vlogging, but it's gonna be sporadic for a little while. Uh, just because of what's going on in our lives and uh, how busy I am. Uh, the, the, the vlogs kind of had to take a little bit of a, a back burner, a back seat. Um, so uh, if you are a member to this channel and uh, that's not what you signed up for, please uh, stop being a member here. And and if you're not a member on, on already on KBD Productions TV, I suggest you maybe move your, your membership over there if you wanna continue uh, supporting me. You can stay here, of course, if you like to. Thank you very much. But uh, my recommendation is if you wanna see your name in more videos, uh, the other channel um, is definitely uh, where you should be putting your money uh, if you wanna support me over there. Um, so let me just do a quick run through. What I, what I like to do in this kind of a vlog is just to go th go through my, um, if I can, there we go. Let's see, what was the last, the last thing you guys saw on this channel was when I was up at the cottage um, when I was, see I can't remember what was before and after. It had to have been, yeah, it had to have been here, okay. So since I s talked to you guys last on this channel, um, we were at uh, In at the Falls in Bracebridge. And since then, I've done the KFC Double Down. Um, I did the Burger King, uh, Franken Burger or whatever it was called. Halloween went by and, and Carol carved a nice pumpkin there. And oh, that's what I should do, go in this order. And I started the 10,000 step challenge. Uh, today is the 15th of the month. And uh, my phone somehow swapped screens. So yeah, today's the 15th, as of yesterday the 14th, I've done 10,000 plus steps every single day for 14 days. Today, I haven't done, uh, I probably already done like 1,500 steps, 1,645 steps, which is good, it's nice to get like to the three or 4,000 steps before you actually have to go out and do your like your actual walk to round off your whole day for 10,000 steps because it's really difficult to uh, do a eight to nine kilometer walk just to get your 10,000 steps in. Uh, one one of the mornings uh, I was talking to Steve, uh, the gen one of the guys that, you guys probably know Steve, he's uh, one of the gentlemen in this picture um, that I'm cycling with more now and uh, we were talking about uh, upcoming uh, bike ride and uh, it was like, I don't know, 11.30 in the morning and uh, we we're talking about the bike ride and then I kind of looked at my steps and I only had done like 400, maybe 500 steps by 11.30 in the morning. As so, you know, it's me getting up, going to the washroom, going to the kitchen, making my coffee, going back to my office and just sitting and, and editing uh, for hours and uh, so that's, it's really difficult sometimes to get out and uh, and do uh, the 10,000 steps. And then I did the um, the Pizza Pizza. I did all three of their chicken sandwiches. That was a whole lot of fun. And then of course I did a, a killer bike ride with the boys. Um, uploading videos like uh, the Hershey's Hot Chocolate from Tim Hortons on, uh, this is, uh, I. I IGTV and then of course I went to uh, the China Cottage and did that amazing uh, fusion meal again it was a cross between a whole bunch of different cultures um, Hakka and I think that's the whole idea behind Hakka it's just different um, 
foods all mixed together and they the Hakka people or something uh, were from China. They were nomads, they just kind of moved around all the time. So they had to adapt their food everywhere they went. Uh, and it was a lot of fatty, salty foods. So I read up on the internet and uh, and that's how Hakka came around. Anyway, so you can re research it yourself too. Uh, and then I went to Harvey's and then the Buffalo chicken sandwich, uh, the, the um, chicken bites, and of course the the chicken poutine and that lovely uh, marshmallow chocolate or chocolate marshmallow pie. Uh, and then I did another bike ride. Uh, I want to keep doing. It. I want to do them every week. They do every uh, Saturday or Sunday, and every uh, Wednesday night or Thursday night. And um, I really want to get better at controlling my bike because if you don't do trail rides all the time, then uh, just trying to keep up with these guys is kind of dangerous because uh, this last trip I did I think I did six falls uh, one of the falls I my front wheel slipped on the mud and then I went down into roots that were all sticking up right into my shin and my knee uh, I'm just feeling that now and they're not bruised which is good that happened on Saturday and uh, so I'm glad I didn't destroy my leg just before our trip yeah uh, as you guys know we're going to um, Cuba so I can't wait to definitely gonna be vlogging all that for you guys so stay tuned for those um, and then one time you're trying to get between trees and you're going kind of quick and you sometimes misjudge and my handlebar hit the tree spun out down I'm always the last person and like we, I went with seven guys this time and uh, I like to go last because I'm definitely the slowest of the of the seven of us and uh, I've got the slowest bike and I'm the, probably, I wouldn't say, I, I, I don't know, some of the guys uh, I think are in the 200 pound range and, and they kick my ass. So it's all about strength, endurance, and repetitiveness. You gotta, I just gotta keep going on these trips and I will eventually get stronger and stronger. And we're gonna be doing it all winter, uh, basically all year long. And uh, But again, I'm in the market for a fat bike for the winter time. So I have to pay that big, fat juicy tire that will cling cling to the snow and uh and plus i'll probably put spikes on it makes the bike a little bit heavier but anyway so i'm trying to get that like mid-range i don't want to get the cheap uh bike that doesn't have all the proper gears i don't want a really expensive one i went to a couple shops and they have available they have like seven thousand dollar bikes i don't want to buy a seven thousand dollar bike i'm not into uh, competition and stuff i'm not trying to win races i just want to Get out and have some fun with the boys, but I definitely don't want the cheap bike that doesn't have all the the better equipment on it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I want to get that mid-range bike. Um, they did have one for nineteen thousand. I'm not buying that one either. And that's I guess that's for the 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 die-hard racing guy who wants to win big trophies and and get sponsorships and stuff. But uh, the average guy will not buy a nineteen thousand dollar bike. Let me know in the comments below if you've bought a $19,000 bike. I bet most people have not bought a $19,000 bike. I wouldn't even buy it. I guess if I was a billionaire, sure, I'd be like, yeah. What's the most expensive one? Yeah, let's pick that one. But I'm not. Anyway, so uh, at least I caught you guys all up. Um, again, it, today is Monday. Uh, tomorrow I'm going out to see Ben. And uh, hopefully we're going to do that poutine dip thing from... from um, uh, Arby's and Ben's gonna be in a, in a video. I'm hoping uh, he could change his mind. I don't know something might happen. You never know with these with these crazy kids in, in university. So uh, hopefully uh, I have to bring him out a dresser that uh, we tried to get into the Suzuki when he was visiting us last, and we couldn't get it in. The Suzuki's just too small. So uh, I had to bring the dresser to him tomorrow. I'm not sure if I want to use this car or the Atlas. Um, I'll probably use the Atlas. This is much more fun to drive. Um, and we'll do uh, that food review for you guys. And uh, yeah, so next time you're in Bradford, check out Bangkok Saigon Noodle. And you can try some of these amazing food dishes. And they were fantastic. Definitely do the desserts. Uh, I just I just did their deep fried banana and it was phenomenal. Um, so yeah, so we gotta get going home. There's a vlog for you. That's how, that's as easy as I can make a vlog, really. Uh, you can definitely go all out and make a really complicated vlog with drone footage and underwater footage and 360 footage, 
or you can just sit here and talk to you guys. This is all I can do for you today. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, I know you guys love it. Thank you very much for all your support on this channel. Let's see if we can get out of here. Take you guys for a little drive before the battery runs out on my GoPro. There's a seafood place across the street called 7C Seafood and Meat. Oh, I better turn right. There's a ton of cars coming this way, but no cars going that way, and I can turn left up here anyway. So, so that used to be a McDonald's over here. Now it's the seafood place where I buy my seafood. Uh, there's the Starbucks, which I've done. I used to do my KFC videos there. I think I did the, the uh, I don't know, it's like a bowl, uh, like a chicken bowl. I think I did that there. Did a lot of videos there. Uh, I also have gone into that bakery there. Um, I also went to that bakery, and I've also done a video, I think, of that Mr. Sub. All right, advanced green. And of course, the Wendy's is right down the corner. Uh, another thing I want to do along here, just to just to chat you guys up a little bit more, is uh, there's a Don Cherry's coming up. And I wouldn't mind uh, maybe doing a review there. So there's the Don Cherry. I don't know if you guys can see that just yet. Don Cherry's, they got great food. Taking the kids and the wife there a few times uh, in the past. This is a, a nice local family restaurant. Uh, there's been a couple times where I went in there just to grab a beer, watch a bit of sports, talk with people. That's a lot of fun, sitting at the bar, having a brewski, having some wings talking with strangers watching the game yeah speaking of game i am going to be going uh with paul and his and his sons to i think i think they're coming uh to a molson canadian event at the leafs game tomorrow night so we're going to be in the molson canadian box that's gonna be the first time i've ever sat in one of those corporate boxes and it just so happens to be Molson's, one of my favorite beers. And uh, so uh, I'm probably gonna have to sleep at Paul's house that night. I'm not sure how we're getting downtown. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna be going from his house to the Tickle Toad, but tomorrow's gonna be a crazy day. So tomorrow I gotta get up, edit, and then drive up to Brantford, do that video with Ben, give him his dresser, give him a big hug, let him go, and then book it to uh, Markham. I have to uh, do some more chiropractor stuff with a sports therapist, and he's going to look at my shoulder and help me uh, out with some more some more added exercises to try and heal these muscles that have been damaged for three years now. And uh, then I have to like, as soon as I'm finished that, I have to like just fly up to Paul's house, and then I'll probably. Um, Paul says he's not going to be drinking, so I think we'll probably go with Paul. And I'm not sure if we're meeting at the Tickle Toad and taking a bus down, or we're just driving to Finch Station. I'm not sure of the exact schedule on that. And then we're going to the Leaf game, and we're going to watch the Leafs kick somebody's ass. That's what's going to happen. That better happen. And we're going to enjoy some Molson products. I'm sure they have food in the booth, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll try and videotape it all for you. We'll see how it goes. Uh, and then uh, I'm probably going to sleep at Paul's house depending on if I have one too many beers, uh, then uh, I guess if I have any beers, I should just sleep at Paul's house. We definitely have a designated driver, so uh, we're all good on that front. All right, guys, gotta get home, edit this video, put it up hopefully today if I can. Whoa, dude, what gear are you in? It sounds like, I'm, it sounds like I bumped the gear shift and it went into like a lower gear. Woo! Blow the engine on Rusty, not good. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for being so patient with me. And we'll see you in the next vlog. And the next vlog, I think it's gonna be awesome. And then we're gonna be doing some Cuba vlogs just for you and just for you. See you, Domic Nation. Ciao.